what's the longest bill in your house? And naturally they think it's their mortgage. It's not, it's your power bill. It lasts forever and it always goes up. It doesn't go down. So what we try to do with being in the solar industry is people are like, how does this work? You know, we try to finance the solar panels. So we take that payment that they're able to save of not paying the electricity bill. The first misconception is if I get solar, am I off grid? No, you're not off grid. Grid is your backup. So what you do is you have solar panels like you see on the screens over here everywhere. You have solar panels on your roof and the sun is beating down on those panels and you use that energy first. So before buying power from the grid, from your utility company, whether they did it nuclear or they're burning coal or whatever they're doing, before you're buying that, you're producing your own and using it. Any extra you get will actually fill up your battery. If you get a battery, which is the smartest thing to do is to get battery and storage for your solar, because that's the future. You get that battery, you get to store it and then use that at night. Well, why is that important? Well, a lot of utility companies have a thing called time of use. And time of use is where instead of paying 12 cents a watt for power every time, the utility companies dictate and go, well, peak hours are five to five. We're gonna charge you 18 cents during that time. And they have the ability to do that. They have all the legislators in their pocket. Trust me, I've seen it going on in Michigan, North Carolina, utility companies paying off the left side, the right side to get what they want. And the people that lose are you guys, are the consumers, are the employees, are the businesses. They lose from this. And you know, on that time of use from five to five where the peak is high, what you're able to do when you store your energy in that battery is now you can use that energy before buying energy from the grid. But any extra power you need, you buy from the grid. You're not off grid because that would be illegal. Because if you, know, if you use all your energy and then it's nighttime and it's cold and you don't have no power, you could freeze. So you have to have the grid as a backup. But if all of us right now are on this grid and we're using this and we're having power outages and there's not enough power, I don't know if you folks know this, but the utility companies buy power every day wholesale from each other. They're charging each other an arm and a leg. I mean, this, this is what happens. They're trading off every day for when they need pockets of energy. With electric cars, there's gonna be a lot less energy out there. What we're able to do when we put the solar on the roof or in the business is we're able to use less. So it's less stress on the grid because if I have solar in my home, I'm using my panels first. I'm producing energy in my home first, right? Any extra I'm using in the battery, I use it at night. Any extra I need after that, now I'm getting from the grid.